Hi, I'm Jerry Janish, a reference librarian at the Howe Library in Hanover, New Hampshire. So usually I review books that have come out in the last few years, but this time around I'm turning to an old favorite. I owe him for the pleasure he's given me over the years. Robertson Davies falls into the paperbacks that have been carried around so long they've fallen apart category. Robertson Davies was a Canadian novelist, uh, playwright, journalist, and man of letters best known for his triad of trilogies. The Salterton Trilogy takes place in a provincial town of the same name and begins with a fraught, love-torn production of uh, The Tempest before careening into a fabricated engagement notice that upends its community and finally finishing with the story of one of its daughters who goes on to England to become a professional opera singer. The Deptford Trilogy, his best known and perhaps his greatest work, unfolds the consequences of a single act. A boy throws a snowball with a stone inside at another boy who ducks, and the snowball instead hits a pregnant woman who, injured, goes into premature labor and eventually goes mad. The narrative follows the stories of the two boys and the unborn son of the pregnant woman uh, throughout their interlocking lives. And finally, the Cornish Trilogy tells the story of a, an eponymous foundation for the arts uh, in three volumes having to do with painting, literature, and music, respectively. Robertson Davies is one of the best kept uh, secrets of 20th century literature and was said to have been a contender for the Nobel Prize the year that it went instead to Toni Morrison. Rollicking, mystical, sometimes bawdy, erudite, tragic comic, brilliantly written, and absurdly entertaining, uh, these novels are the work of a master storyteller in love with stories and with language itself. I encourage you to try to get your hands on them if you can. Thanks for watching.